Hi, I'm Dr. Ling, consultant pediatrician at Thompson Hospital, Kota Damansara in Malaysia. Okay, currently more and more countries are rolling out booster shots for COVID. In Malaysia, we are well underway to give our booster doses. Recent reports indicate up to 40% of people in Malaysia who were given appointments for the booster shots did not turn up for their shots. That's a significant percentage. Here, we will be answering two questions regarding these booster shots. First, do I really need the booster vaccine? And second, which type of vaccine booster should I take? Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, first question, do I really need the booster shot? Okay, the landmark studies done in Israel shows that for those who have completed two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, a booster dose will make them 9 to 16 times less likely to be infected compared to those not given a booster. This is across all age groups. In addition, a booster dose would lower risk of severe illness by 19 times in those 60 and above and 22 times in those between 40 to 59 compared with no booster. With regard to deaths, a booster would lower risk of deaths by 15 times for those 60 and above. The studies done in Israel are observational studies that may be affected by biases and not randomized controlled trials which are more reliable. Even so, given the very significant difference shown between those with and without the booster shot, there probably is some benefit in giving the booster shots. So should I take the booster shot? Well, here we need to weigh the benefits of taking the booster against the risk of severe side effects from the shot. The interesting thing is, the older you are, the higher the risk of severe COVID, but the lower the risk of severe adverse events from vaccines like myocarditis and blood clots. But for the younger individual, it's the other way around. The younger you are, the lower the risk of severe COVID, but the higher the risk of severe adverse events from vaccine. So for the older age group, taking the booster is a very clear-cut decision. For those in this age group, risk of severe COVID is highest and risk of severe vaccine side effects is lowest. Also, there is no longer concern about severe allergic reactions with boosters if you are taking booster of the same vaccine brand for the first two doses. For instance, if you took Pfizer vaccine for the first two doses and did not develop any allergic reaction, you will certainly not develop any allergic reaction if you take a Pfizer booster. Currently, countries like the UK and Singapore have commenced booster doses for those 50 years and above. So for all those 50 and above, or those with significant comorbidities, I would like to urge you to not delay in taking your booster shots. The benefits are significant for you, yet the risk of side effects are minimal. What are you waiting for? Go for your booster shots. I have taken mine. On the other hand, the opposite applies to those 30 years and below. For this age group, the risk of severe COVID is already low to start with, while the risk of severe side effects like myocarditis is higher. It reaches a stage where the benefits of booster no longer outweigh potential serious side effects. I personally would not recommend a booster to those below 30 years of age. How about for those between 30 to 50 years of age? Well, here, the added benefits of the booster is not great, while risk of serious side effects from vaccine is also not very high. From an individual perspective, if you want to lower your risk of severe COVID further, although not by a lot, you can proceed to take the booster. If you decide not to take the booster, it is also a perfectly acceptable decision. From a whole country perspective, giving boosters to this age group is beneficial too as it, it can reduce transmission of the virus and enhance infection control in the country. Okay, now we move on to the second question. Which type of vaccine booster should I take?
can be mixed different brands? To answer this question, we can look into a study done in Chile where they have given Sinovac as a primary dose. So all the candidates for booster had Sinovac for first two doses. For the booster dose, the Chilean government had given either Sinovac, AstraZeneca or Pfizer. The results showed effectiveness against infection from COVID increased from 56% to 80% for those taking Sinovac, 90% for Pfizer and 93% for AstraZeneca. The effectiveness against hospitalization increased from 84% to 88% for Sinovac, 87% for Pfizer and 96% for AstraZeneca. So based on this study, the three different brands used as boosters give fairly comparable results. So you can take boosters from a different brand, it still works well. In another study in Brazil, it was found that protection from Sinovac after the first two doses was only 30% against severe disease and 45% against death for those 80 years and above. This was compared to other vaccines which showed protection in excess of 65%. As a result, Brazil had decided to give Pfizer or AstraZeneca as booster instead of Sinovac booster to those 60 and above. In Malaysia, the default booster brand is Pfizer. So I would like to encourage all those above 50 to 60 years of age, regardless whether your primary doses were from Sinovac, AstraZeneca or Pfizer, to proceed with your booster shot. For the elderly who took Sinovac, it is recommended to take, to take Pfizer or AstraZeneca as booster as they appear to provide higher immunogenicity and higher effectiveness. If you are still concerned about taking a vaccine other than Sinovac, you can get a Sinovac booster from approved clinics or hospitals. But be aware that protection may not be as good, but definitely better than not taking a booster. Actually, in our COVID wards right now, we are seeing many who are unvaccinated in the ICU. In addition, we are also seeing quite a number who are fully vaccinated with Sinovac in the ICU with category 4 or 5 COVID. For those on AstraZeneca as primary doses, preferably you should get an AstraZeneca booster, but I believe it would be okay with a Pfizer booster too. So here I would like to re-emphasize that those above 60 are at in the highest risk group must take the booster to provide greater protection. This is especially so if you have taken Sinovac as your initial shots. Okay, that's it for this segment. Take care, stay safe, and continue to have a heart for kids.